Hey everyone, so now uh, welcome back. We're going to talk about some of the other pieces of the SAMBAS solution, which is the anti-ransomware and the anti-bot along with the corporate password functionality. So we'll first start off with the anti-ransomware and see how that basically works. So we've got the PC here. I'm going to go to a site that is theoretically going to download anything, do any functionality. Uh, in, in regards to a drive-by. We'll let it do its thing in the background. And again, it's gonna go ahead and theoretically start encrypting my files here shortly. As you can see here now, files are being encrypted. And then our anti-ransomware has detected the, the malicious activity. And the malicious activity is now being analyzed. And we'll let that do its thing for a few minutes here. Normally I pause, but I want you guys to see the, the full steps that are happening here, which can take a few minutes versus Assuming that it just happened with a nice green screen once it's done analyzing and doing its thing. And you can see in the background there, the files are now being restored in back to their original state. And again, this can be manually done or we can set the permissions to do automatic uh, remediation. And once the process is done and the analyzation is done, we'll have our nice little green screen indicating that things have been done, things have been cleaned. Um, And here, now that the restoration has been completed and taken care of, you can see that we have restored 66 files to their original location, 64 files, I'm sorry, uh, to their original location. And if you recall from our previous video, you can restore to a particular, their original location, or if you'd like them to be restored to a different directory, we can do that as well. So that way, you know, all files that are restored are now moved there versus them being spread out in a potential directories all over the, the file system area. So just another area that we can look at from an anti-ransomware protection perspective. This was more of a drive-by going to a website that caused an issue, but we were able to detect it, stop it, remediate it, um, and then also do a restoration of files. So at this point, I'm gonna do a quick little pause and switch over to the next uh, setup for the anti-bot um, and the corporate password use functionality. Be right back. Okay, so we're back and this is an example of leveraging or using a corporate password 
on a non-corporate site. So here I'm at PayPal. I'm going to put in my corporate password. And you can see here now that the corporate password is exposed and it tells you exactly some of the verbiage. Um, keep your account safe. Um, you know, change your corporate password immediately kind of scenario. It gives you this example of lets them uh, know that they're now leveraging a password that they shouldn't be on a non-corporate organization. So it's another helpful tool that can be leveraged to again, educate and train your users to not leverage um, passwords that shouldn't be used for non-work type of environments, even if it's a good password. So hopefully that helps out. Uh, we'll do a few more recordings about some of the other functionality as we move forward, but hopefully this gives you some insight as to some of the features of the Sandblast solution. Um, thanks a lot.